Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In last couple of videos, we talked about installing Kali Linux in BRFS file system and how can we use it to create a snapshot and then roll back from the snapshot. And also, we talked about uh, pre installation steps that we need to follow not only for Linux, for other softwares, but primarily for Linux. When we download the ISO file, we talked about uh, checking the ISO file integrity using checksum. And then we talked about post installation, how to keep the system up to date and stuff like that. Today, I'm talking about how to expand the disk partition after you already installed the Linux system. So you can use, if you're using Linux on as a primary operating system on bare metal installed, then you can use Gparted directly as long as you have a space in your hard disk that you want to expand to. Or if you're using one of the hypervisor, either VirtualBox or VMware, then you have two steps to increase your disk in virtual machines. First, you have to increase your disk in hypervisor. And then when you expand in virtual environment, then you have to actually go inside the Linux and expand your partition using Gparted. Gparted is a GUI based disk utility. You can use it to expand, shrink, change, change partition inside your Linux operating system. So today I'm going to show you how to do it using VirtualBox and then go inside the Linux and change it. So I'm using VirtualBox 6.1 version. If you're using VMware, then you just have to go and select the virtual machine that you want to expand the disk of. Right click on that virtual machine, go to VMware settings, and then find the disk and you just click on the disk and on the right side, you just click expand and then just keep the number of gigabyte that you want to, the new size and apply and that'll be done. We have a similar option with the virtual box 6.1. I, I believe this option is available after 6.0 and definitely on 6.1 because this is what I'm using. So let's say I want to increase the size of uh, Kali Linux, which is installed in ext4 file system. And right now my virtual box, sorry, my Kali Linux is installed in 25 gigabytes. So I can either go on file menu, virtual, uh, let me see, virtual yeah, 6.1. So I can go to virtual, file menu, go to virtual media manager, and then go to properties, then select the Linux distribution that I want to expand size of. So I have 25 gigabyte. Now you can slide it and change, your, change the size or you can just write the new size here. So mine is 24, sorry, 25, you can just make it 30. Currently it doesn't let you shrink, you can just expand. Or if you have the older version, you can also go to the command prompt and do from there. So let's try to do the command prompt. So it will cover both older version and newer version. So on the command prompt, first go to the folder where your virtual box is installed. Then here type VM box manager. Then if you're using older version, older than 6.0, then you do modify HD, then C, Program files, not program files. Now I'm trying to locate the file where the Linux, Kali Linux.vdi is located. So C users, 
my current user virtual box vms Kali linux Kali linux dot vdi and then space hyphen hyphen resize and the new size of the partition so mine is 25 gigabyte at the moment so if i want to make it 30 gigabyte or let's say 28 gigabyte 28 multiplied by 1024 so that would be 28672 28672 in megabytes Box not manage it, I think it's a manage. Oh, too many error. Not VM box manage, V box manage. So it's a virtual box manage, V box manage. And this is for the older version, it still works on the newer version. But on the newer version, See, it already changed to 20 gigabyte. So if it doesn't work on your version, then you can try modify medium and disk. So this is supposedly for the newer version, but on my version, modify SD still worked. So 100%. So either one of these commands should work for different versions. So I'm gonna exit out from here. So right now, VirtualBox increased the size of virtual disks that it created. But now we have to expand the disk inside the Linux machine. So we are going to start the machine. And when it boots up, we will go to terminal, start departed, and then actually modify the partition or expand the partition. So Gparted is the GUI based uh, utility for the disk management. And I like to use it because it gives you graphical representation of the disk and you can actually see how your partitions are being moved or modified. It's really cool how it does it. And by the way, I'm not running using any live CD or Gparted CD or anything. It's just a regular, operating system I'm booting directly from the disk. We go to the settings, see my system. The hard disk is the first priority. Optical drive is not even selected. So this is a, a, in the live system running system. So let me go to the terminal. So let's open the gparted. sudo gparted enter, asking for my password. Okay. So is the three gigabyte that we added. Actually, we can see this information from, let me open another terminal. And then we'll see using df-th command, disk for utility. So let me do the, so when it shows you the root partition 24 gigabyte, this is what we're trying to expand to. So make it 27 gigabyte. You can also see this information using F disk L. L means list the disk size. I'm asking for password. So here, my main boot partition where the root is installed is 24 gigabyte and this is one extended partition inside the extended partition swap is installed. So let's go back to the gparted. Right now, this is our main root partition, primary partition. This is extended partition. Sorry, this is extended partition where the swap is installed and we're trying to add this three gigabyte into our primary partition. So at the moment, Linux swap is locked, so we cannot modify it because we need to move this partition at the end of this block, free this space and join this to the part primary partition. So let me unlock it by 
right clicking on this Linux swap, then swap off. So now this swap partition is free. We can now modify, change, increase the size or decrease the size. Our goal is to expand this extended partition, include this three gigabyte into the expanded partition, then move the log, uh, swap to the end of the block and then free up the remaining space at front and then attach and then finally attach to the root partition or primary partition. So let's do that. Right click, resize. So we are going to resize all the way. Resize and move. So now our extended partition became four gigabyte. One gigabyte was already in there. So we added three gigabyte. Now this became extended partition. So next step is we are going to move swap partition to the end of the block, resize and move. So moving a partition might, might cause your operating system to fail to boot. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, you could, it's always a good idea to create a backup. But if you're using VMware or VirtualBox, there's an option you can use to create a snapshot. So I highly recommend you creating a snapshot before proceeding with the partition. I forgot to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, say okay. Now my swap partition is at the end. So now I'll just, I'll just need to free up this space. And to free up that space, I need to shrink the extended partition just to include the swap size. So now go ahead and right click, resize and move. And then resize it to the size of swap partition. Click resize, there you go. So now this block is swap partition, which is inside the extended partition. We free up this three gigabyte from extended partition. Now it's free to add to our main primary partition. And that was our goal. So now right click on the primary partition that we are trying to expand, resize, and then resize all the way down. Resize, there you go. Now our root partition, the ext4 file system partition is 27 gigabytes. So we increased from 24 gigabyte to 27 gigabyte. So if you're happy, everything is good. Just go ahead and apply all operations. It's again giving you warning that you might cause loss of data. So apply, a few seconds. Okay, looks like everything, all operation completed successfully. There is one warning. See if there's any warning that we should be concerned about. Check file system on STA for errors and if possible, fix them. So I think that's a warning. So it asks us to check, you can run command FSCK and, and check the partition or when it reboots, you can actually check the partition. So everything is good. So now we have to lock the swap memory. So right click and do the swap on. So now it's locked and we cannot modify it. So now we can quit. Okay, everything looks good. So now let's see the disk size. The new disk size with the command also. So yeah, it became 27 gigabyte before it was 24 gigabyte. We can also check the command sudo df hyphen th. Yeah, 27 gigabyte. Everything looks good. Only last thing I wanna do is restart the machine and see if everything works out as we want to. So let's go and restart. So down hyphen R now. As you already know, now command will restart immediately. Without the now command, we'll just wait for 60 seconds.
So we'll just run those commands one more time and verify our disk is actually increased and then we should be all good. sudo dxl password. Yeah, 27 gigabyte again. And gport it one more time. Not gport it, sorry. Uh, DF decrease, please. Double partition. Okay, so everything went well. It increased the. So, what we did to summarize, we went to VirtualBox and either graphically or command prompt. You just go inside the VirtualBox folder, VM, VBox manage, space modify SD, back of the VDI file, slash, slash, and hyphen, hyphen, resize the new size, then boot up the machine, gpart it and just move around the disk and partition as you like. So that was it guys. I hope you find this video useful and I hope to see you again in my next video. So take care.